Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Youth Squad Legends Series 9 with Yeovil Town. Now because of the disaster that was last episode, we have completely changed the team. We've actually needed to change the team as well because everybody was tired from the last match. Yeovil Town against Portsmouth. No, no. Oh, hit that down. Really? Right, well, uh, we are down within 7 minutes. And that is one of the worst goals to concede. I mean, what's the keeper doing? Good start to this episode. Knock it down, knock it down. Oh, okay. Well, we've got a throw in. Fabios plays it in. It's a Kanga Menigs! One all! And we've scored more goals in this episode than we did last. I got this. I got this. Pass. And again. Keep going. Ramos. There we are. Very nice. It's back to Ramos. Here's Edwards with Aziz in the middle. Oh, how about that for a goal? Kieran Aziz makes it 2-1 to Yeovil Town. And we are back on track. Come on, Ramos. We've got this, lads. Possession's been truly terrible, but it's what you do with the ball. Lopez. Oh, oh, we've hit the post. Kennedy. There we go. Nice. It's to Bernardo Lobo. Flick it. Lobo, control, this is it, Bernardo Lobo, oh, and, wow, Ramos took that really well, but he was offside, go on, Kuzwick, nice, and that is it, we have done it, three points in the bag, two goals as well, that's made me very pleased, the monthly scouting updates are ready, let's have a look what they've brought back, the first one is from Croatia, and nothing. Monthly scouting update from England. We've got two players of max potential, 90 or above. Mickey Osborne, overall of 40 to 54 with a potential of 66 to 90. And Stuart Brayford, overall of 37 to 49 with a potential of 68 to 92. We're going to sign both of them up. Second match of the episode, we're away against Southend United. I didn't check before this game if Southend were top of the table, so hopefully they will show us in the intro. It isn't actually showing us, so uh, we'll go out and just think that these are the leaders. And if we get a positive result, then all is good. A 39-yard free kick. I somehow doubt that we can find the net from here, but we're going to try it anyway. It's Elias Buckman. No. Reach, turn your man, and smash it upfield. That is not out. It's a good pass to Agude, who then runs it out of play. I think I've realised what the problem is with this lineup. You see, we're relying on Enoramo to hold the ball up, and he's not doing it. Oh, right, well, uh, he was free in the middle of our box. If we're going to give Southend that much space, we might as well just forfeit the match. Go on, Enoramo, knock this down. What are you doing? You're six foot five, man. Half time, nil nil against what we believe to be tabletop as Southend. Go on, kill it. Play that through ball. That is a great through ball. Buckman in. Come on, lads. Oh, go on. Oh, it's a great save. That's it. Done. Full time. Um, no goals, but quite an entertaining match. You can tell that these guys are one of the best teams in the league. I'm glad that we've gained a point from it. Onwards to the next game. Just training my players up. If you haven't looked at Barmer Striker 9's videos on player training, well, he shows you that agility training helps promote physical growth in the players that actually can grow physically. They just grow quicker. So I'm doing it at the moment to Lobo and Babios. Oh. I've pressed play match by accident. It's Yeovil Town against Notts County. And I've not really got the team out that I kind of wanted. If you're not familiar, Sparring DK does a Youth Squad Legends type of series with Notts County. So I'll leave his link down in the description and also a link to Bomber's videos on youth player training. We already have an injury. Are you serious? You're actually going to get the ball off them? Or are we going to just wait in the corner all this time? I mean, come on now. Well, I'm sure I've been quite entertaining as the commentator in this match. But to be honest, I don't think I'm going to actually bother showing you highlights of the game. Full time. Nil-nil. At least we got a point from it. Wow. Lads, 
Match highlights. A yellow card. That is the match highlight. Harry Killip has suffered a sprained knee and will be out for about four weeks. Swapping and changing it. Yeovil Town against Coventry City in the FA Cup. Oh my word, look at his hair. It looks like it's on fire. Oh, throw in. Not a corner. Very close to being one. It's Barbie Oz. He has been fouled there, free kick. Ron Aziz clipped this one in, and no, nothing. So poor in fight that it's a Coventry throwing on the other side. Ricketts, now there's a big opportunity. Peter Babiars through the middle. Oh, what has he done? Oh, oh, Zakari, let's go, son. Yes, 1-0 Yeovil Town. Looks like we're going to advance, unless Coventry have a quick reply. Chance. Hines has released Babiars, and it's a second chance. It's some redemption. Yeah, this time 2 0. That's it. It's game over. Yeovil Town succeed against Coventry City. This episode's going to have a lot of games in it. We're now on the 9th of December 2017. It's Colchester against Yeovil Town. Yeah, pass it around, bitch. Pass it around. <laughs> Can you stop it? No, you can't. Cuss your crap. Well, hey, you're not even in the circle, mate. You can't stop it from there. Cool, lads. I'm playing this game on a different day. I've actually gone to sleep in the middle of recording a Youth Squad Legends episode. Oh, they are the best defensive team, Colchester. It'd be nice to score against them. Great save, Dalgard. It'd be very difficult to bring Harry Killett back after Kieran Aziz has done so well. He might return fit and realise that his place has disappeared, which probably is the case. Lobo. Go on then, son. Go on. He's still going with it. Lobo. 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 Oh. Go on. Foul. Free kick. Buckman from 25 yards. Oh, save. That's a great save. Tom Evans is gonna get ya. Tom Evans is gonna get ya. Yeah. Let's let's not draw another game, lads. Um, I don't want another draw. Kieran Aziz. Oh yes, lad. Yes. Eramo scores. Is it scores? I think it is. One nil. Yeovil Town. And it's all thanks to the wonderful Kieran Aziz, who found himself in a very strange position. That's not a position that you really think a centre mid should be in. But man, how he dealt with the situation. A good day. And Aramo scores again. Elliot scores. Makes it 2 0 Yeovil Town. Yeah! Four minutes between goals, and all of a sudden, Elliot scores. He's looking for a hat trick. Corner kick to Colchester with eight minutes remaining. They've ploughed people forward and we've cleared it off the line. That's it, full time. Unfortunately, Elliot scores, doesn't get his hat trick. Players were running out of energy. Colchester pushing up the field. Pender's back for about 15 minutes. It's still a very good victory against what supposedly is the best defense in the league. The final game of this episode, Yeovil Town against MK Dons. Go on a good day. Go on, lad. Show that pace. You got no pace whatsoever. Oh, but still, still. No, go on, lad. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, you. Oh, can I score now? Power! Aziz. Barbie Oz. Look at Alves go. The left back. Oh, with a truly terrible shot. Bugsman. Plenty of time. And he's picked out a pass. What a fantastic ball. Give it to Scars. Elliot Scars. He's blocked off. What a great spot by Bugsman. Elliot Scars. Oh, wow. It is a free kick. Bugsman. Let's get this right, son. Oh. Oh. oh Tom Evans. Oh. Bugsman. Plays it. Scars. Yeah. Bottom corner on Elliot Scars. is back. Get in! Baker with the free kick for MK Dons. It's straight into the top corner. Now that is how you take a free kick. And I hope Buckman was watching. Make some subs. Killip comes on. We'll get a Kangamene, but he'll be played in the middle of the park. 
And Ricketts up front for... It's got to be Babios because Scars is in a good run of form at the moment. And to be honest, he might actually get the winner. Elliot Scars! Elliot Scars! Oh! Look at the amount of red shirts, man! Oh! Still, we found Lobo on the left-hand side. He needs help! He needs help! Comes in the form of Alves. Back to Lobo. Back to Alves. Yes! It's a penalty! Right at the end! It is a penalty! Come on then, Scars. It's your big moment. What a chance. Yeovil to win it. Yeah! <laughs> Yeovil Town 2. MK Dons 1. And they have no time to respond. Man, I feel happy about that. MK Dons trying to defend that one all draw. Alves getting the penalty. I don't know if it was an actual foul. I don't care if it was an actual foul. Elliot scores, converted the penalty, and we get three points. So this has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of You Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, please give the video a like, and I will see you next time.